hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this just video tutorial we will see that how we can just write our first unit test case with the chest in the last video which is the first one we just see that how we can install the jest and how we can just getting start with it and we just see the intro also then if you did not watch this video then you can get the link in the description box so now let's start with that so let's say i have a simple file with a sum.js and here i have a function with the name of sum all right and let's say for first it have no parameter but it returns the value 4 all right or you can see that 2 plus 2 it's our sum function then we can just use the addition here all right so it have just re uh, export the sum function also so how we can test it first of all we have to make a file with the name of sum.test.js so sum is not mandatory here you can put any name like addition or operations whatever you want but test.js is mandatory if your file have the unit test cases then you it, it must be denoted with the dot test.js file all right so now first thing we have to just export our some function here so just write here some and you can just easily write here required and in the required just put the file path like some now we for the test case we have to use a test function here right so this test function will perform our test case without it we are not able to perform the test case right so uh, it have the two parameters first one is a string and this is basically a message right so we can just write here uh, first test case right and in the second parameter we can take uh, arrow function or anonymous function is totally up to us so just now we have to use here expect expect means here we will we will just use some function like sum and it will return some values and this value should be match with the 2b like 4 right so in this sum it will return 2 plus 2 and if it, it will just find here 2 plus 2 should be 4 so if this is this case is, is matched then test ca case will be passed all right so let's see that how we can just run it so now let's open the command prompt and just simply write here npm run test and now you can see that our first test case this is the message what we just put here here right and now we, you can see that one test case is passed here all right so this is the way that how we can just put a simple test case now let's say i just want to test the two cases in a same file is it possible yes this is also possible uh, second test case all right so if you are just trying to run it now you can see that we are here two test cases and both of past here all right so let's remove it now let's see that how we can just make it the dynamic output for that we can just add the parameter edge we can just send in the uh, normal function so i'm just going to send here like 10 comma 20 right so the output should be 30 if i just add them right so a comma b and here we can just find here a plus b right so the value should be 30 so i can just match here 30 because i know what i'm just going to pass here right so now let's test it this is also passed here if this value is not matched like if i just put here 300 then it will just give a error to us like this now you can see that 2p is the issue with that the expected is 300 but received 30 right so let's say we already know that the value should not be 300 then what we can use so we can use not here all right if i not here then the value should be passed and the test case should be the pass here now you can see that this test case is passed all right so we know lots about that how we can just uh, run the first test case and parameter and versus the test function to be and expect so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel in the next video we will see that how we can test an object so bye bye take care